What do you want? <sighs> Waiting for something? I asked you a question. Now get on with it. I'm only here because I respect the person who told me to show up. Not because I came looking for friends. Who sent me here? I don't see how any of that's your business. But if you must know, it was my teacher. <laughs> now you want to know why? Isn't that a bit pointless? You don't really care about my reasoning for being here. You're just trying to strike up conversation. God knows why you'd want to talk to me. But that doesn't matter. If you really had something to say, you'd said it by now. I look interesting? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> but I guess I can respect your taste. She did tell me I need to be friendlier to people who approach me. Fine. We can talk. Sit down. Well, what about me looks so interesting to you? I think I look like any average citizen. The vision? Who cares about those anyway? Honestly, I'm not sure why I have it. I take no interest in God's favor, nor do I care whether I have their blessing or not. It's a waste of time on me, but I guess I'll make the most of it. Still, what does that have to do with me looking any more approachable than any other patrons here? I'm pretty sure that there are people here who would be absolutely delighted talking to you, but I'm not one of them. The way I carry it? Close to my chest. That's just where it showed up. I never saw a point in moving it. N no! It doesn't symbolize anything! How did you... Why are you talking to me? Get to your point, or I'm going to leave. That was your point? Yeah, right. Stop patronizing me. I I'm not pouting! Humans and their audacity. Even if that was the reason you decided to speak to me, what's so interesting about it? Does it even mean something to you? As far as I know, we've never met, so I don't know why this would be such a big deal. Family? What about it? Wha- Why would you want to know something like that? Whether or not I have family in town is absolutely nothing to do with my position of my vision. In fact, you don't look like you have one. Are you a researcher from the academia? If so, I've done enough dealing with your people to know whether you're planning to take this. I'm not interested. Now, can I drink my tea in peace? Not a researcher. Then... None of this is making any sense. If you don't have a vision, and if you're not a researcher from the academia, what on earth do you want to do with me? And why do you need information about my family? There's absolutely no reason you should... It resembles my... What? How do you know that? Who told you? There are only a few people who know anything about that correlation. So, if one of them told you, I guess I should trust their judgment. But you can't say anything like that in public. The general population found out about the history those words hold. I'd have a lot of unnecessary onlookers. If you're going to continue talking about it, we should go somewhere more secluded. I'll answer your questions. I'm on the assignment, and I guess this will count towards my grade. <sighs> Alright, the crowd's gone. 
I won't ask exactly how you know about me. I don't really care enough. If or how you know doesn't change who I am or what I've done, I'm trying to accept that. So, ask your questions. But make it quick. She said I should be nice. But she made no mention of forced socialization. I knew there was a chance I may have to converse with a waiter. But I wasn't expecting someone to walk up to me. Did she send you? If she did, it would make a lot of sense. But that's very unlike her. Oh well. Coincidence happen. I might not know you, but you know me. So, at least it saves me the trouble of introducing myself. So, now that we're acquainted, why don't you tell me what you really want? There's no way that you're actually interested in what my vision means to me. So, spit it out. Have I hurt someone close to you? Were you just trying to see who I was to determine whether or not you could extract revenge? If so, I don't blame you. My actions have consequences. Go ahead. Get it over with, so I can go home. <laughs> Nothing like that? Uh-huh. Okay. What's all this really about? I might have the time for this, but that doesn't mean that I have the patience. Aesthetics. I don't understand. What do me, this vision, and aesthetics have in common? So, that's it. Listen, I just know about as much as you do about how this works. I don't consider this a heart. But I guess it's a sign of humanity. And how it was explained to me anyways. It's hard to consider me a machine when I was deemed independent enough for my programming to have a desire so strong that it warrants my vision. <sighs> Haven't you heard of invasion of privacy? This is a little personal. Pfft, don't apologize now. You got the answer you wanted, right? Now go on about your day. N no. I have no issue with you knowing it all. It caught me by surprise. But what's done is done, right? Sure. I wonder how you know, but that isn't important at all. Because you're different, too. I won't press you on what that means, but I guess that explains how you could tell. I'm not irritated. I just have no interest in becoming friends with you. Becoming friends with someone just because they're similar in some way doesn't ensure a stable friendship. Besides, what would you want to be friends with me for? I bring nothing to the table. If anything, you're better off owning your own pet rock. My conversational skills are subpar, so I'm not much fun. <laughs> yeah, right. Like you can make me appreciate a good conversation. Human nature doesn't support good conversation. Both parties won't enjoy themselves unless they gain something from the interaction. I have nothing to offer you. Good company? You expect me to believe that you enjoy being around me. Just for the sake of having someone to hang out with. At least I'd know you've been stalking me. Because that's the most out of character expression I've ever heard yet. What kind of... Of course I can handle getting attached to someone. But I can't get attached to anything. I've lived long enough to know how that ends. Why does it bother you so much that I spend my time alone? Prove me wrong. You know what? I'll humor you. That girl is probably going to request I make a friend anyways. So you fill that role for me. And I'll let you prove that having one won't be so bad. Why am I agreeing so easily? Because it'll be hard for anyone willing to fake it. And that traveler doesn't count according to her. So this way, 
We both benefit anyway. Come on. I have to tell her I'm weeks ahead of my homework. <laughs>